Howdy folks, today we're going to give you a three-year update on our Forest River A-Frame Camper. We are at Old 86 in Southwest Missouri and we're going to give you a walkthrough of ALF, the A-Frame Living Facility. We're going to start with a quick tour of the outside and then we're going to go inside and talk about the pros and cons of living in it for more than just a weekend. So, let's get started with the front box here. This is the front compartment on the camper, and if you look inside here, you'll see that it's about a foot deep for the most part, and it goes back maybe a foot and a half. Then in the front, we've got the skinny compartment that goes down, you can fit narrow items in. For example, we got a solar panel here. Also, underneath this top shelf is the, uh, there's a slider box that I store charcoal in, we'll show you that next. So we're gonna get into the charcoal box here. You always have to put the design on the key towards the lock. That's a big can tanker, but there we go. And this is essentially just the slide. And I store, I call this the firebox, I store charcoal, I store a shovel, got some hickory here for um, smoking, and then fireplace tools. All right, moving on to the next storage compartment. We've recently started storing cup holders and glassware and that sort of thing, along with our coffee pot, and we've got room for some other cooking items. In this case, we've got a couple of skillets. Now moving on to the black tank. We're not gonna pull this out right now, but that is the black tank. They call it a cassette, and you simply pull that out, and then you can dump from there. So on the front part of the camper here next to the door, we've got a couple of standard household outlets, have a light, it's also got one outdoor speaker. And this is the control for the extender arm to raise and lower on the back. However, that broke in the first season, so we don't use that anymore. And then down here, we've also got a propane hose for a quick disconnect. In this back compartment, it goes almost the full length of the bed. And we use it to store bigger, bulky items. At this point, we've got a screened-in porch, extension cord, sleeping bags. But you've actually got a significant amount of underneath storage here. The last compartment we're gonna show you is on the back left side, driver's side of the rig. We use this to store items we need to set up and tear down. Got some tools, got a water hose, electrical cords, that sort of thing. One of the things about the A-Farm camper is that it is small. That's both a strength and a weakness, but because of the size, we typically do our cooking outside. So we've still got our Coleman stove set up from our tent camping days that we use on a regular basis. Welcome to the inside of ALF. This side is the back, and it's set up in a twin bed configuration. And our cool cat, Dometic, is underneath the driver's side twin bed. Now, this section here will go into the middle and make for a king size bed. During the day, when it's 97 degrees out, like it is in August here in Missouri, when we take that section out and we've realized that we need to add a little bitty fan which just a little bitty fan makes a huge difference. So, but it, it pulls the air around the camper more or it gets really hot up about five foot up. So on the driver's side of ALF, we have our sink, which is just a sink. And you can have hot or cold water if you ran the hot water heater. We're not doing that, we're on city water this time. We also have a three burner stove, which connects to the uh, propane outside. And then we have a refrigerator, which is about dorm size. <laughs> and it's a three way fridge, so it's AC, DC, or gas. Inside the refrigerator, there's also a freezer container. It's about this big but nothing big is gonna fit in there, so no big ice cream containers or anything like that. Right. So creature comforts, we're 
here camping at Old 86 Campground for a whole entire week. And we, we decided we needed a TV. This is not attached to anything in out. Sitting on top of what would be the microwave counter. We took the microwave out because we need more storage. We also have the thermostat as well as a cable hookup, but we're not hooked up to cable and a radio and the Wi-Fi extender. So the last little section is our dinette area, which I think we've eaten here twice in the three years that we've had ALF. Um, we've got a little privacy curtain here and um, ALF does have a toilet. We showed you a cassette outside. And then we bought this year one of those ACDC refrigerators. And this is our first use, but since we were gonna be here for a week, we knew we needed more refrigerator space than ALF could handle. Um, this is our water container, seven gallons. We always bring fresh water from home and uh, it's good for coffee and drinking water and things like that. Um, this is the DVD player to go along with the TV. This is what two weeks of dry food looks like for us along with a few dishes. And then over there in the corner is our linen bag and um, we did hang up some little command hooks for hats and the uh, paracord for the privacy curtain also works well for hand towels. All right, for the review for our three years, I, I like Alf. I think he does what we need most all of the time. Great for a weekend, um, way better than a tent but we have been juggling things for a week. I mean, we a weekend's fine. Friday to Sunday, that this is great, but to stay in it longer. That, it becomes something of a challenge. So think about, um, I would say that the use case that this camper is best for is for two people for a three day weekend. That's really what it excels at. It also excels uh, in terms of it's easy to tow, it's easy to store, it fits in our garage. Um, and you know, again, it is perfect for a weekend and way better than tent camping. But the downside is if you want to do anything longer than a week and you have stuff, then you're going to have to pack light and or juggle and just get creative with your use of space. Right. So it kind of runs out of applicability in terms of like convenience after that three-day threshold. Right. Well, you noticed, or maybe you didn't notice, but we don't have any luggage in here. All of our luggage is stored in the truck. And so you really, you know, you think, okay, I need clothes for tomorrow before you go to bed and things like that. So it's tight, but I really, I really like it. I, I like it too. And it's been perfect for us so far, but mm -hmm. I would think of it as being sort of as an in-betweener. It's not mm -hmm. a full-blown RV, definitely not intended for full-time no. living, but it's it's a great starter trailer. Oh, heck yeah. I'm so happy that we picked this one to start with. Right, it was perfect to start. And um, yeah, keep following along. And uh, if you have questions or ways that you use your A-frame, we'd love to hear them down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.